Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Emporium Pies. This is called the Drunken Nut. And we are going to tell you all about this pie, what is in it, everything about it. But I just wanted to show you how it looks. What I'm gonna do, you can eat it at room temperature just like it is right now, or you can heat it. I think if you can heat it, if they do give you heating instructions, you probably should. It's probably the best way to do it. So we've preheated our oven to 350 degrees. We're gonna bake this for 20 to, it says 20 to 30 minutes. I'm gonna bake it right in the middle and go for 25, and then we'll be back to tell you everything about it. So I cut us a piece of pie, and I wanna show you, uh, Natalia ordered us this. So Natalia lives in Texas, and she ordered this pie from Gold Belly. So when Gold Belly ships it, they ship it in a box like this, and when you open it, you saw it was wrapped in plastic, and it is Bird's very, nest. yeah, like it's very well packed so that it doesn't move on its journey from Texas. And that was in a box too. Exactly. This was in a cold box and yeah. it was a very well insulated, very well insulated cold uh, box with cold packs in it. Uh, so, I mean, they did an excellent job. So, Gold Belly, uh, they included this postcard, and I'm assuming they put this in all their orders, so I'm, I'll give you this code. It says, we ship nationwide, $20 off your first order, use this code. Um, it's Gold B 3 lly Gold B 3 lly And like I said, I'm assuming that they have thousands of these and they just put them in whatever order yeah. so i'm sure more than one of you will be able to use that if you want 20 dollars off your first order um I'll, I'll be honest i have very seriously considered ordering from them before but it's it's it is expensive um i don't know how much natalia paid but i do know if you go uh, this pie is made by emporium pies in uh, texas if you go to emporium pies it's six dollars a slice or forty dollars for a pie so i would assume that buying it through gold belly would cost more yeah, and even shipping. The shipping, yeah. Yes. So uh, if you're not buying it locally, I would. That's why I've never ordered anything before. But you know, hey, if you've got the money, do it. Take a look at them. Um, but it comes with this card, which is really cool. And you take this out, and there's there's uh, nothing on the back, but it says on the front that this pie is called the Drunken Nut. Uh, it gives you the ingredients, the allergens, in case you have an allergy, which I think is terrific. A lot of things that we've uh, received in the mail from, from smaller bakeries, they don't have any allergens. And I'm thinking, wow, what if you get that and you have a nut, you know, some kind of nut allergy. Um, it says storage. Keep sealed until ready to serve. Store in a cool, dry place. Refrigeration is not recommended for this pie for a prolonged life. The pie can be stored frozen in the original packaging for up to three weeks. Uh, serving instructions. If frozen, allow pie to come to room temperature. It can be served at room temperature or heated in the oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 30 minutes to serve warm. Um, recommended serving within three to five days uh, from the time that you get it. So, um, this, let me just describe this to you. It is a shortbread crust with sweet sauce of butter, bourbon, and brown sugar, and Texas pecans. Sounds good. I've been patiently waiting. I know you have. That's why I've got more information to give you. But I'm going to let Kevin have a bite. Yeah. Okay. Because I knew you wanted a bite. I think it is full of pecans. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna try a piece of the crust. And that could be part of the expense too. You know I like that bourbon. I like the crust too. The crust is really good and flaky. I wonder what brand. I'd like to know the brand of bourbon they use because I do like that. Mm -hmm. I would be interested. That is absolutely wonderful. Delicious. Mm -hmm. You know, it has that bourbon flavor in there, but it's not boozy. 
No, it's not. It's not like a wow, that's a really strong, like take your breath away bourbon. No. It's just a light bourbon flavor. You know it's there. That hmm. is absolutely amazing. And it's so full of pecans. Yeah, that, that, the bourbon really mixes well. I like that. It does. So, if you are not a person who drinks alcohol or likes a lot of alcohol in your food, I still think you would like this. Because it doesn't taste like, like, Kevin and I make bourbon balls. And yeah. you know, yeah. that is, they're boozing. They literally take your breath away. Yes. They're, they're, if you think, if I eat too many of these bourbon balls, I'm going to get tipsy. You don't feel that way with this. It has a nice, the nice flavor of bourbon, but it's not too much. No, no. You really taste the pecans and you taste the crust. The crust is delicious. The crust is very good. It's flaky. Uh, has a really good texture to it. Really good flavor. It says, uh, pies are handmade and our offerings change with the seasons. Our pies contain no artificial preservatives, hydrogenated oils, dyes, or corn syrup. They have two locations if you want to go like in there and buy one. And they have two locations in Dallas, Texas, and one in McKinney, Texas. Um, and I want you to hear, right now on their website, they have one, two, three, six other ones, okay? So they have the Drunken Nut. They have one called Smooth Operator. It's a French silk chocolate with pretzel crust. Hmm. Lord of the Pies, a deep dish apple pie with cinnamon streusel. Father Christmas is a peppermint cream pie with a chocolate cookie crust. Hmm. Hot Cake is our classic buttermilk pie layered with salted maple caramel. I probably wouldn't like that one. This one is called Mary Berry, which I think is funny. They don't spell it like Mary. They spell it like Mary, M-E-R-R-Y. But Mary Berry, it's like a chest pie and a cranberry muffin had a baby, sweet and tart. And then one called Snowball, coconut custard topped with whipped cream and toasted coconut. Mm. So, I bet you at certain times of the year, they probably do strawberry, they probably do lemon, During peanut butter, key lime, exactly. Yeah. Uh, but that's what they're offering right now. Uh, so, if you could pick another one of those to try, which one would you try? Um, the, you mentioned the chocolate one and a coconut one. Those are probably the key. Or the apple pie is just the standard. A French silk yeah, chocolate a, with a pretzel crust. That's called smooth apple. I probably would do that one or the snowball or the apple pie. One of those three. Yeah, those sound really good to me too. The maple one, I, I'm always scared to try maple unless I could try like a slice. Exactly. I um, am too because it, you're Because pretty, if it's too strong, I wouldn't like it. Um, I agree. The other one sounds It good just too. all depends on how heavy handed yeah. they are with their with their maple flavoring. Uh, so I agree with you. But um, you, they ship nationwide. If you go through Gold Belly, they ship nationwide. And uh, so yeah, if you're interested in one of these, please give it a try. And uh, It's very good pop. Yes, it is excellent. And like I said, you can have it at room temperature. You don't have to go and heat it in the oven. We just like ours warm. Yeah, I just like it warm because I know when Natalia, uh, I, I believe Natalia said a friend of hers bought it for her. Um, uh, she bought it a slice. And so hers was at room temperature and she absolutely adored it so much that she wanted to share it with us. Mm -hmm. And I have to say one little side note about Natalia, tell you what kind of person Natalia is. I did not know. Natalia had contacted me on Instagram and she said, um, I, I've tried this pie. I'm going to order this for you. I, you just have to try it. I didn't know that day that we were discussing this pie and, and her spending all this money on us. It was her birthday. So she was so, I just think that's a wonderful personality trait. She's so selfless that she was thinking of us on her birthday. I just think that, uh, uh, that's, very sweet. that's very, very kind, very, very generous and sweet. So thank you very much, Natalia. I hope everyone checks them out. I'll, um, I'll link below to their website so you can check them out. And thanks for watching.